Hi, in this video I will talk about the Saba Surah and uh, the jinns mentioned in the Surah. In the previous Surahs we see that uh, jinns were mentioned previously, uh, so uh, related to Solomon. But you should be really careful about the terminology and what the jinns means, and you shouldn't be confused, and you should learn it from the Quran and also the other, other books. Uh, grammat grammar books and um, yeah anyway let's start so we here in this context we see that uh, gene is something that they can communicate and they can ask for some something to Solomon we committed the wind at his disposal traveling one month coming and one month going and we caused a spring of oil to gush out for him also the jinns worked for him by his Lord's love any one of them who disregarded our commands, we subjected him to severe retribution. So, and someone, a scholar, explained that why Solomon is rich. So, Solomon is rich because jinns are working for him. So, he can create something absolutely beautiful, amazing, fantastic because the jinns are working. So, he has additional uh, workers. So it is, it is, and then, uh, so nowadays we do not have this, so they have this power and specific to their period of time. And um, we see the detail, they made for him anything he wanted, statues, deep pools, and, and heavy cooking pots. O family of David, work to show your appreciation only a few of my servants are appreciated so it's also another interesting thing is that solomon i think one of the few people that really very rich like and so but we see that the the jinns worker explain his richness otherwise he's not actually torture he's a prophet he's not torturing uh, others so you understand my point i guess uh, not, not torturing to build some something so and then let's read it further when the appointed time for his death came they had no clue that he had died so not until one of the animals tried to eat his stuff and he fell down that the jinns realized that he was dead so not until one of the animals tried to eat his stuff and he fell down that he so that they cannot uh, fight against it and that time the jinns realized that he was dead so so they have no sense of that consciousness we see that they just realize that if they really know of the unseen they would have stopped working so hard as soon as he died so so we see that so i think the powerful person died here in charge of them and uh, then they we we all have they also have a time to you know we, we all will die and then as soon as so they they have the chance to stop and they don't want to work that hard so this is also another interesting thing um, so and then let's see other verses on the day when he summons them all he will say to the angels that these people worship to you so why jinns were mentioned in this surah they will answer be you glorified you are our lord and master not them instead they were worshiping the jinns most of them were believers therein on that day you possess no worth no power to help or harm one another and we will say to the transgressors test the retribution of the hell that you used to deny so so we see that why jinns are mentioned in this surah so that it's also to to let people know that you may see something interesting maybe some people can get information from the future it can be a thing however it it has nothing to do with you know they can have that power uh, in this life using jinns and they did it once before 
and so but it doesn't mean that they are they are the they are stronger than you or they're worshipable they're not worshipable so in fact they cannot even understand that someone is that so that's what the surah is warning us about but we still cannot tell if we can communicate any other uh, beings so let's assume that there is a way to communicate to them and they can inform humans about uh, things around uh, happening and it cannot be very precise and it doesn't have to be from God and uh, so we still have to worship God and we cannot worship jinns so that's what we should know based on the surah so and then no empiric studies can demonstrate they exist because there is no uh, there is no pattern we can observe and it's not something that we can get with pattern because it, it changes it's like a, there's some level of randomness so you may get the answers as as seems but it's not like a something provable and it cannot be used as a tool like in the previous years like the previous version so and we see that in Jun surah it was explained why we cannot do this because they now it is not allowed so that is my explanation of of it so and I don't know that much but uh, in this surah only thing that we can certainly say is that uh, they work for God and uh, they also believe in God and we only should pray for God and I shouldn't ask help from someone else some and other creatures any other beings angels no, none, none of them can help us only God can help us